Financial markets at very high risk of black swan event as systems become more complex, there's greater opportunity for things to break down. More complex equals more fragile. There are so many things that could go wrong with catastrophic results, the kinds of things we talk a lot about here are, financial meltdown, pandemic, massive, coordinated terror attack, widespread domestic unrest leading to martial law, foreign conflict leading to war or the threat of war, food shortages, AI or other system malfunctions that take down the grid or banking or other systems and lead to chaos. Because so many people rely on social media or corporate news for their info, most people don't have a clue. We all know it wouldn't take much to start a chain of events that could be devastating. Welcome back to the Atlantis Report. You are here for your daily dose of the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Please take a second to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to also hit the notification bell. Thank you. The banking system is failing. The US Fed has injected close to $4 trillion to keep it functioning thus far. They are now buying treasuries with fresh liquidity. The repo market is increasingly full of bad credit and no longer provides this ability to keep the markets growing. Expect a blow-off top, followed by panic selling once banks have begun to unload these treasuries and own repurchased shares. Sadly, once again, the public has become too complacent that the US markets will rise forever. They will be wiped out while they sleep. Watch the bond market for any sign of a sell-off that could take mere seconds. The Fed has indicated that it will keep the banks, i.e., treasury markets, supplied with new money for three more weeks. Then, what happens if the repo market is still broken and can't buy more treasuries? Remember, bankers no longer serve the best interests of the public, only to enrich themselves, don't trust them. Nassim Nicholas Taleb defines a black swan as a highly improbable event with three principal characteristics, it is unpredictable, it carries a massive impact, and, after the fact, we concoct an explanation that makes it appear less random and more predictable than it was. The success of Google was a black swan, so was 9-11. Black swans underlie almost everything about our world, from the rise of religions to events in our own personal lives. An example of a black swan event is AI or other system malfunctions that take down the grid or banking or other systems and lead to chaos. Right there, this one issue can set the entirety of our nation's connectedness into a tailspin, automation and robotics, the world of AI and IT. The federal government, and states, rely very heavily on cloud computing now. All financial records, biometric data, citizens and non-citizens, agency and government data, medical data, criminal records, tax, IRS data are stored by electronic means using cloud technology. The majority of our federal information systems are using third-party cloud systems, even the Department of Defense and DHS have gone outside of the government for these services. We talk of and worry over the JIT, just-in-time, delivery system. None of us mention the JIT information system. Failure with our JIT information technology, I call it JIT it, will shut down our nation faster than the JIT of our needed goods. It wouldn't take that much to create a man-made black swan event that would disable our financial system. Our automation is advanced enough and connected enough that the near instantaneous transfer of funds or financial evaporation of trillions of dollars can be implemented through the convenience of cloud technology. A black swan is an unpredictable event that is beyond what is normally expected of a situation and has potentially severe consequences. Black swan events are characterized by their extreme rarity, their severe impact, and the practice of explaining widespread failure to predict them as simple folly in hindsight. A black swan event is an unforeseen event that may have catastrophic consequences. Though the definition reads, unforeseen, I would add that some who are acutely alert may, foresee, a so-called black swan, or a form of it, coming. But they have no voice of significance to warn or change what may be happening. So it's unforeseen by the vast majority, though perhaps foreseen by a few. One example might be some of the preparedness-minded, who are highly aware of the catastrophic consequences of a significant grid-down event. If a black swan event occurred, such as a disastrous CME, coronal mass ejection, from the sun, zapping our power grid, it would not be unforeseen by them. But certainly unexpected by all the rest. Why? Because most suffer from normalcy bias, or simply don't know or care about the systemic threats around them. To them, it's a black swan. 
What's worse, a black swan event that's genuinely unforeseen by anyone. An event that we haven't even thought of yet, including by those who think about such things. I recently read about a group of global security experts getting together to discuss this very issue. Organizers said the following, the time has come to ask, are we doing the kind of hard-nosed vulnerability assessments that are necessary for our increasingly complex and fragile infrastructure systems? How do we build fault-tolerant technological and human systems that can withstand or help us better recover from catastrophic failures caused by black swan and perfect storm events? How do we do smart risk management in a world of sudden, unseeable, and unforeseeable threats? The panel will discuss how the world's internet and AI-controlled systems will cope in the event of a black swan. We take for granted that these technological systems will continue to function without interruption. World on the brink of unavoidable, black swan, apocalypse, security panel warns taking it for granted. I don't know how many times I have addressed this here on this channel. However, it is continuously relevant. It is so easy to take it for granted, the modern systems that enable us to survive as we do. We figure that there's really no risk. At least none that are significant. That's how most people think. But sure as I'm sitting here typing this, one day, something unforeseen is going to happen that's going to scare the hell out of the masses, or worse. So how in the world do we prepare for something like that? How to be prepared for a black swan event? It's both easy and hard. Easy in that it's not difficult to start down the road of preparedness. Level 1 and level 2 are not hard. It is being prepared for weeks up to a month. However, level 3 and beyond is where it gets challenging. This is preparedness for truly catastrophic happenings. The thing is, although seemingly unlikely, there are events that could happen. Events that would require you to be prepared up to level 3 for a reasonable chance of survival. An uncomfortable truth. Preparedness Level 1-4 to four Series Overview The good news is that if we're prepared as best, we can, then we will be so much better off with our chances of survival, or less pain to deal with, than most everyone else because most everyone else is not prepared at all. So are black swan events becoming increasingly likely and dangerous? Yes, I believe, though, seems highly improbable. They actually may become more likely given the increasing modern technological complexities in life systems. And, therefore, more dangerous as dependence increases. There always seems to be that one little thing that can break the big machine. I wonder what the next thing will be. Once you understand the exponential function works and how our monetary system works, you'll realize that depression or even outright collapse is all but guaranteed. Often, this leads to war. The question is, what kind of war? 1776? 1861? 1939? all are on the table. If you have noticed, the time periods between the dates I have listed are about 80 years. The generational studies outlined in the fourth turning expand and expound on this time sequence and the significance of it. If you notice, you can add 80 years to the third turning, which is 1939, and you are at, stay with me now, 2019. There is no such thing as coincidences. The sequence of events, debt-fueled boom. Minsky moment balance sheet recession. We were using economics that didn't consider debt, so no one realized what was happening. China was the lemming that saw the cliff edge, Minsky moment, before it went over. The Australian and Canadian lemmings will be going straight over the cliff. They haven't got a clue what they are doing. Japan shows how long the balance sheet recession can last, and this is why the global economy is stalling. China was growing by adding more and more debt, but it can't do that anymore, well, they shouldn't be. It's a no-growth global economy. Japan has been in a balance sheet recession for 30 years, and they have had plenty of time to study it. There are ridiculous levels of bank reserves built up by the Fed, BO, ECB, and BOJ that can't get into the real economy due to a lack of borrowers. QE can get into stock and real estate markets, inflating them. After 2008, we saved the banks but left the debt in place. The banks were ready to lend, but there were few who wanted to borrow. We have spent 10 years relying on a solution that could never really work. One of the biggest black swans will be a Chinese military intervention. The time is ripe. And it is inevitable, but is it imminent? The Chinese have the power to disrupt deep space satellites, and when those are affected, America doesn't operate. The next big black swan will be manufactured by the oligarchs to finish off 7 billion people. 
global war, fast spreading disease, or total financial collapse will be the method. As the world has peaked in energy production, things will get terrible really fast if 8 billion people are all competing for the remaining resources. The order out of chaos, boys are saving this meltdown for a special occasion. When this bad boy blows, there's gonna be hell to pay. They want to be sure they can swoop in quickly and implement the next stages of control. A few more technological surveillance schemes, some more advancement in digital currency, and they will be ready to spring the trap. They don't have to be perfect. They just have to be sure you can't run while they perfect the system. A new boogeyman to blame it all on would be preferred. Can't have the anger of the sheeple focused on the real culprits. If the real problem is never realized, then there can be no practical solutions. It'll come, and when it does, watch how quickly they implement controls to keep the sheeple from getting out of hand. This was the Atlantis Report. Please like. Share. Leave me a comment. Subscribe. And please take some time to subscribe to my backup channels, I do upload videos there too. You'll find the links in the description box. You will also find a PayPal link if you want to make a donation. Thank you wholeheartedly to all those of you who have already donated. Stay safe and healthy friends.